everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I almost thought this video was going to have my little grandson as my audience instead of Jim, but he got back in time. He I'm had, here. <laughs> he had to take Emily to Sherman yep. to get a rabies shot for her dog, which is the only clinic that is around that's opened. A lot of the places are saying that they have the clinic, like Dunkirk, but you have to be a Dunkirk resident, which we're not a Dunkirk resident, so we would have not been able to get a shot. And I took mine to the vet, whereas if you can go to the clinic, you can get it for free, whereas if you take it to the vet, you're going to have to pay the vet's fee. So she's got her dog, is got its rabies shot, and I'm hoping that they open everything up next year so that I don't have to go back to the to the vet. I'd like to just go to the clinic. It makes it easier. Actually, in two years. No, mine's no. next year. Every other year, I think. 22? I thought she no, was 23. No, no. Well, maybe it is 23. They gave her a, a little bit longer shot. She's 24. Okay, so it's 23. So I, next year I don't have to go? No. Wow. <laughs> 23 is when Jake gets his next one. Well, that's good. I got a little break. Hopefully by then they, <laughs> I know. Hopefully by then they've got the the clinics back working again. I have a couple of videos I want to put in here. I think it's um, they're going to be all together, so you'll see. If, I think it's the garden, the garden, and the maybe Emma, and not sure, and maybe Mr. Brown. You'll see in just a split, split second. I mentioned to Jim just a few seconds ago that I wanted this ground leveled out a little bit where the chickens have dug. And he goes, I guess I'll go do it, get the little rototiller and do it now. There's a lot of areas that need to be taken out of the humps where the chickens have dug. And they will dig more, but I can rake it if they make divots in the ground again. I went out to the garden to check the radishes, and this is what I found. I've got some really good radishes here. I um, pulled them out. They're, the ground is very, very, very soft right now, so they came out real easy. I will boil these, and I will cook the greens with eggs. They will be um, kind of steamed a little bit with a little water. You put a little water in it just to make them tender. And then you, the water evaporates and you scramble up some eggs and put it with eggs. They're very tasty that way too. Well, I will show you the work that Jim has been doing even though yesterday I didn't want to. Today I will show you some of it. It's not done yet, but I will show you. This is what Jim has been working on. It's got the chicken wire on here, which I can raise these up to get into my garden. These don't have to be strapped down, which is nice because the wind will go through them. He's got this one done, and he's got the one on this side done. And I think this is a lettuce. I'm not really sure what this is. It came up all by itself. And he's got one on this side, too. The rest of them are still with the plexiglass. We'll say hi to Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, hello, baby. Yeah, you're looking for something in the grass? The grass is very wet, very wet today. Are there bugs in there? It's wet. We could check on Emma. Still no babies. Oh, she was eating a little bit of the food. That's good. I gave her the higher protein food. Good girl, Emma. Just hope you have some babies. And we'll check if there's an egg in Mr. Brown's house. Oh, there's an egg in Mr. Brown's house. Do you see that egg? Mr. Brown laid an egg today. We'll take that. Oh, it's nice and warm. She must have just laid it. It's a beautiful little egg.
Jim said a little bit ago that he finished the raised bed. So it's got all of the white chicken wire on it now. So it's all done. Looks really good. You can't even tell if you're from a distance. You just see the white bar in between. But, yep, it's got the chicken wire on it. So my plants can get to the rain. The rain can get to them. And these bushes, Gloria, this is the type of bush you should have. This thing stays green all year round. Even in our winters. I don't know what kind it is. But he took this off of our... The one bush that I have, it's got little flower, little, little, um, they would be flowers. They, I think they go white. But he took these off of the big bush and planted them here and they're growing. He's going to plant them at Jessica's house so that she has, a, she likes these bushes, so she wants some at her house. Well, I hope you enjoyed what you saw because I don't remember what you saw. I have to put this together and that's when I will see what you saw. So I hope you had a great day and I'll see you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.